So good morning everybody. Um, start my day away. Getting woke up. Can't help but think about the damn zombies. And uh, yeah, I just figured I'd hop on and attempt to make another video. I'm not really in the mindset that I normally am about it, but I figured I'd give it a shot. So here we go. Um Zombie apocalypse, right? I sound like an idiot, right? Fucking zombies. Well, it's funny because I actually sound like an idiot to the zombies and to the people that aren't. Um, anybody watch Preppers? You, know, you see how they're constantly showing people, well, here's how you can prep. You know, they're getting all that information out there. Um... Santa Claus, Easter Bunny, Tooth Fairy, y'all getting ready for them? Oh wait, what, they're not real? Ah, I see, I see, so, so we don't believe in Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, and the Tooth Fairy, but we believe in our government. See, I know that a lot of shit I say doesn't make any sense to y'all. It is what it is, you know, things just that most y'all still sleep. So you're not awake, you're not enlightened, you have no clue. Um, zombies, zombies, zombies. Zombies have been a problem for a long time. Long, 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 long time. And um, most of y'all have been zombies. And by that is your spirit has been with the dead. You know what I'm saying? You've been a dead spirit. Your mind, your belief, your education is that of the past. You know, you're living in the way of the old you know you're following old messages you're following bullshit i'm saying you're following the words of dictators you're following the words of slave owners over rapists over drug dealers over you know all kinds of fucking asshats you know they say hey do this do this do this do this stuff so since they're the ones educating you since they're the ones controlling your tv they're controlling your news, your magazines, everything. So those people keep you sick. They keep you as a zombie. See, the whole zombies eating brains thing, it's not really that far from reality, y'all. You know, they're trying to get in your mind. They're trying to brain fuck you. Okay, they want to get in your brain. They want to make sure that what they believe is what you believe. So you're just like them. So you run around all just and just listening to the master like Borg. You know, the time's coming a lot faster than everybody thinks, you know. Um, like Dabu said, man, if y'all know who Dabu 7 is, go look it up. Dabu 77. Okay, that motherfucker knows what's up. Okay, period, period. Uh, with the testing, okay. See, they, they have test drives, test runs, where the government tests out their idea. It's like, will this work? Will we be able to move the population? And they try it out. And the damn zombies fucking feed it, they eat it, they can go with it. And then, you know, I hop on here and I see all of us that are awake, you know, saying, hey, that's bullshit. So, I just wanted to point out the fact that, you know, there's so damn many zombies out there. You know, there's groups out there, too. You know, groups of them. You know, saying, you know, for instance, you know, there's one group out there in particular that's saying that uh, Anon is going to try to kill everybody. Well, you see, that's a zombie right there. That's a strong zombie at that. You know what I'm saying? He's stuck in the way of the old. You know, stuck in the old way of thinking, oh, if we bow down to their way of doing things, then we'll get what we need. I mean, that's bullshit, okay? Yeah. Hop on Animal Planet, okay? Get the fuck off of preppers, okay? And watch nature. Because that's what we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be like nature, okay? Look at the ants. Do the ants have a leader? No, they don't. They all do what they're supposed to do. And their colony thrives. And it grows. And they spread it. You know, the queen doesn't have power. All the queen does is make more ants. And all the ants, they do their job, they do their work, they keep everybody hooked up the way it's supposed to be. They live together in nature. It's the fractal of it. Well, humanity 
doesn't live in that same fractal. Not at all. You know, say so we're under control. You know, say so we're under hatred. We're under negativity. And some people like to say, oh, that's because they don't love. That's another getting crap, you know what I'm saying? Let's throw something on an emotion. Oh, it's all because of a emotion, one emotion. And it's not, it's a melting pot. You know what I'm saying? This earth is a balance of millions of different things. And we are part of it. Now, unfortunately, humanity is a plague. We are a plague. And we are a parasite on this earth. And everybody knows that. You know what I'm saying? We take, we take, we take, we take, we take, we don't give. And that shit needs to change. Um, AIM, American Indian Movement, the indigenous. I'll tell you what, the warriors are asking for us to listen. And I think we should. You know, I think we should. I think we need to all group together and stop this corporate fucking circus from destroying the planet. Because that's what it is. They see, y'all want your food, you want your, you know, you want everything that they give you. You know what I'm saying? You want the luxuries of your reality. And you're not willing to make sacrifices. And you need to. You need to make sacrifices. You need to go ahead and prepare. I'm not saying go crazy prepper, you know, just building a bunker and just fucking load it with a year's supply of food. No. No, 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 no. Prepare as if your world is about to change. Prepare as if we're not about to have any more school. We're not about to have any more medical. We're not about to have any more police force. Or at least not an American police force. You know, the UN's going to come down here soon. And they're going to start selling off parts of America again. As if it's even fucking theirs to sell. You know what I'm saying? They came over here and they stole it from the indigenous people. And they loan it to you and charge you for it, you know what I'm saying, you pay for it, and then you pay interest on it, these houses, like the house that's right behind me, you know what I'm saying, it's been paid for multiple times since it's been built, and yet we're still paying again, <laughs> what the fuck, you know what I'm saying, the, the <sighs> we need castles, we need, we need, we need, we need to unite, we need to quit thinking that anybody's above us. Because nobody's above me. I can tell you that right now. Nobody the fuck is above me. If anybody on this planet is above me in any form or fashion, it would be in this order. My children, my wife. That's it. That's it. And that's if anybody has anything above me. And that's because my kids come first, and then comes my wife, and then comes me. And that's how we all think about each other, too. And what they're doing is they're banking on that. They're banking that that's how we're going to act. That's how we're going to react. You know what I'm saying? Family first. Whenever the shit hits, they're going to hope that we don't unite and we don't click together. You know, just because my family comes first doesn't mean that I can't help those around me and we all win. You know what I'm saying? A rising tide floats all boats, you know? And we just need to raise the tide. They're going to hit us, y'all. They're going to sit there. They're going to fuck with the farms. They're going to fuck with the damn food system. They're going to fuck with all those that are stuck on government, you know, dollar. You know, everybody that's relying on the government. And that was the whole plan over the last few 20 years. You know what I'm saying? To build the broken government up into a piece of shit broken government where everybody relies on it. And then they destroy it. See, they're going to take all of our gold and stuff, and they're going to keep it for themselves, okay? They're going to take a lot of our treasures, and they're going to keep it for themselves, and they're going to destroy America, okay? When America is destroyed and gone, that erases their billions and trillions of dollars worth of debt, because they're going to get rid of America. Now, the FEMA death camps, yeah, I don't think it's really emergency management. Okay, I don't think it's really emergency management in case of a tragedy like a plague or something like that. I think it's because of everybody's broken any any sort of law. Okay, any sort of law. Okay, you know, if you smoke a cigarette in front of children, you, you get chemical endangerment to a child, right? So that right there makes it so that you can get arrested. Now, they got all them cameras up and down the road, so 
All y'all that smoke around your kids, I don't, but all y'all that do, y'all are also looking at a crime, okay, because they got you on video, all right, they got up to 10 years to charge you, so, they're going through, and they're looking at everybody's crimes, and they're going to round us up, you're saying they're going to round us up, and then those that sit there and fight for those that are in there to be released, they'll be locked up too, it's that easy, it's that easy. They're going to let everybody kill each other, starve to death, whatever, give them sick, plague, whatnot. Maybe gas them out, amnesia. Yeah, they'd like to get into our brains and brainwash us. So, you know, chances are they might actually have a plan to brainwash us all. And I think that with the way that they're practicing locking down the schools is part of their fractal of plan. See... They lock down the, the schools, and they hold your kids. Now, you're going to go to that school to get your kid, aren't you? You're going to say, knowing damn well that you're about to get arrested once you get there. You're going to go to be with your kids. See, if my kids ever did anything, they got locked up. I'd, I'd, I'd go with them. You know what I'm saying? I'd be locked up with them. Because I just believe that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just how I feel. You know, that you know, they shouldn't be alone. Especially in that fucked up damn system and how they damn treat people. Well, y'all, it's fucking freezing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut this video out. Uh, good luck out there, y'all. Look around. You know what I'm saying? Look at the signs. Okay, and prepare for it. Don't go around fear fucking people, okay? Alex Jones just pumping people full of fear. Okay? Work on how to unite after the collapse. Okay? That's where you need to be now. Okay? That's what page we're on now is preparing to prepare. Right? Everybody should be on that page. I want to see some books out, y'all. I want to see some people making some legit fucking comments. I want to see people looking at the comments, taking the comments and compiling them into a book. You know what I'm saying? Information. Homesteader Survival Guide, okay? Y'all need to look up Homesteader. All right? Um, prep, 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 prep. And stockpile supply, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about your poison foods either. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to get your shit and get your shit right. Um, them gen GMO foods, genetically modified, you know, they're modified so they can accept a certain type of sickness that they put out, you know, and it won't affect all the other plants. There's a Titan project where they have a seed bank up in the Arctic or something like that, right? They put all the seeds from the planet in there already. They're, they've already done that. And they did that because they plan on passing out the GMO, throwing a sickness out there to kill all the food supply. I mean, y'all can think I'm crazy, that's fine. I don't care, you know what I'm saying? I know that in 200 years, when our great-great-grandchildren look back and they see who did what, they'll know that I did something, or I tried. You know, I tried to spread the word. They're going to see so many of y'all that didn't, you know what I'm saying? They're going to see y'all's negative comments. They're going to see you talking about stupid shit that doesn't even matter. They're going to see you getting all caught up in the runaround that the governments of the world are putting you in. Well, fuck it, I'm out.